a Moroccan chicken sheet pan dinner. Hi guys, it's Gail Simmons. Welcome back to my kitchen, Rachel. I'm always so excited to be on the show with you. Today I'm making a sheet pan dinner that I love. It's inspired by a trip to Morocco a few years ago, and it's the warmest, easiest dish to prepare. I'm gonna start by lining a sheet pan with parchment paper, and I preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So I have chicken legs, I have the thigh and the drumstick, four of each. I'm gonna start by making my ground spice mixture. The pepper, the ground cumin, ground cinnamon and ground ginger, paprika, and about a teaspoon of salt are all gonna go in a big bowl. Now, the thing with these spices is that some of them, like ginger and cinnamon, people associate with sweetness. You know, cinnamon sometimes gives people memories of apple pie or sweet things, same with ginger. And um, really, they're not sweet at all, but they're warm spices. They can be so savory and they really add a depth of flavor to this dish. And to it, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil and a heaping tablespoon of honey. I'm actually using date honey here. I'm gonna give this a little mix together. And then I'm gonna add in my chicken, my garlic, and my onions. So I have onions that I quartered, and then I have whole garlic cloves, about four of them. I'm gonna mix this all up together. You kind of can't be shy here. Just get in. So you can really um, make sure that everything is coated really nicely. Add in the carrots too. Mix them in a little bit. I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna put it all in the pan. Okay, everything is mixed together. I'm gonna put it aside for just a second and I'm going to take my sheet pan and on it, I'm going to place the lemon. I've cut one large lemon into eight slices and about a half a cup of green olives pitted. I'm just gonna go all around here too. Now I'm gonna pile in my vegetables first on the bottom and then my beautiful quartered onions and my whole garlic cloves. And now my chicken is gonna go right on top. Just make sure I scrape any remaining marinade up. Okay, almost ready to go. I'm just gonna drizzle a little more olive oil, maybe like a tablespoon over everything. Tiny bit more salt just on top. And then just because I'm feeling crazy, a little tiny drizzle of this honey. Mm. Okay, this is going in the oven for about 45 minutes. Oh yeah, look how beautiful this is already. It's so roasted and my whole house smells like cinnamon and ginger and honey. So now I'm just going to scatter these plumped apricots all around. Now I'm taking about two tablespoons of chopped pistachios and I'm covering it all as well. All right, back in the oven with all of this beautiful stuff. About 10, 15 more minutes. Okay, I am very excited about this. My chicken is done and I'm taking it out of the oven to show you the final product. This is a Moroccan masterpiece. Now I steamed a little couscous, very simply. Just put a cup of couscous in a cup of boiling hot water, turned off the heat, covered it, let it sit for 10 minutes and it's nice and fluffy. It's cooled down a bit. And I'm serving this on the side, but you don't even have to. I mean, this chicken is a work of art, so you could easily just serve it on its own. I also have all of these beautiful torn herbs. I have a mix of mint and cilantro. You can do one or the other. Cure it a little bit and sprinkle it on top of everything. You can also take the rest of my herbs, chop them coarsely and fold them into my couscous with a little olive oil if I want. In the meantime, I'm going to plate. gorgeously crisp chicken. I'm gonna just scoop up all the things. I've got my carrots. And it's all going together in the bowl. Some of the juices, the olives. And that, my friends, is dinner. Simple, fresh, mm. packed with flavor. It's really good. <laughs>